It's happened. Yeah, it's up. Yeah, I feel like it's so disgusting. I mean, I don't mind burps, but my ears do. Yeah. Are we rolling? Yep. Okay. I'm going to tell Chris and Jake right now about a little bit of high crime, not on the high seas, but on land. Anyway, a man stole, this is the headline, man steals $1.2 million worth of fajitas over nine years and gets 50 years in jail. <laughs> what? Yeah. So uh, basically, this guy uh, in Texas, Cameron County, Texas, uh, he worked at like a juvenile detention center or something like that. He worked for them or some somehow he was affiliated. He would basically just order food to um, the place and then intercept the sh- shipment and then... Uh, he would intercept the shipment? Yeah, and then sell How is he himself. intercepting the shipment? Is, I, he, is, he, is he sticking it up, sticking them up? I don't think so. Is he, is I think he, he probably just met the delivery man at the door. It's like, no, 800 pounds of fajitas right over here. What do you do with 800 pounds of fajitas? You freeze them. Resell them. That's true. He, he resell them. them. I love about fajitas for years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he had a lot of fajitas. Um, I did a little calculation of how much uh, we can estimate in pounds of fajita meat he, uh, he could have stolen. So what are you using as the... Uh, 10 pounds of fajitas on foodserviceDirect.com uh, is uh, 112.65. Okay. $1.2 million uh, it would equal to about 10,652 and a half cases. Uh, and then, so obviously that last case, he paid half out of pocket, you know. Yeah. And then uh, that would translate to, uh, for 10 pounds each case, that's 106,525 uh, pounds of fajita meat. Who what would you do with that, that much to? meat? Uh, he's definitely selling, probably yeah, he's selling, selling it to a yeah, jail, sure. I would assume. Yeah. Like another jail. Basically, they uh, they realized that there was like an 800-pound shipment of fajita meat to the juvenile detention center, which wouldn't be weird uh, most of the time, except that they never serve fajitas there ever. So they basically were like, wait a minute. Where's all this fajitas coming from? They're like, hey, man, I, I deliver thousands of pounds of fajita meat here all the time over a, over a nine-year period, so actually. Do you, do you think maybe he just got too big for his britches? He's like, ordered, like, he ordered it's, the big one, one more one more to get out? It basically fajita <laughs> Breaking Bad or fajita <laughs> Blow. Like, basically, yeah. he came back. He's like, this is disco quality fajitas. Yeah. <laughs> disco quality. Let's get one more big score to get out of the game. He yeah. said it was 19 years before they caught this guy? Nine years. Nine, Nine years. years. He said so it's 50 good. years in jail, and he said he's really sorry. I bet he is. Um, how much? How much was the uh, the total? Do you think one point two milli? Jeez, yeah. I think he's going to white collar. Uh, I feel like if you steal that much stuff, you definitely go to white collar prison. Yeah, I think that's no, how it and it's fucking fajitas though. So <laughs> <laughs> it's not like he's not like people's pensions yeah, or something. People's pension. Yeah, <laughs> people ask him why he's on the inside. Oh, I stole a bunch of fajitas. Okay, pedophile. <laughs> 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 Welcome to everyone I know. The podcast where we argue about the mundane. We're here again. Uh, the fuck boys are in Troy. You're you, punchy as fuck today, man. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> um, we're here in the Troy Castle, the Troy Dungeon, the Troy Mansion, the Troy Complex, the Troy Compound. Commune. Or, commune. Okay, the Troy Commune as well. I'm here with my lovely producer, Brendan. Woo. Not enthusiastic. And my brother, Chris. Hello, everybody. Mid- mid-level enthusiasm. Yeah, yeah. so uh, this episode, everyone I know, is brought to you by Audible.com. If you want a free audiobook. And a uh, 30 day trial for audible.com. You can go to audibletrial.com forward slash EIK. I am still listening to Sapiens. It's still very good. Um, Audible is great for when you're in a car and you have to drive places, like when your girlfriend lives four hours away. Not nice. for long. Not for long. Yes. Yes. Actually, uh, next week I will be talking about a new apartment, probably. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Julie's not still here yet, though. But. This episode of EIK is also brought to you by the Madison Poor House. <laughs> Did you forget the name of the bar? No, I just wanted you to do it. You yeah. always trail off after the Audible thing. Yeah, I always do. Oh, I forgot to say the Audible doesn't pay us. Yeah, fuck um, Audible. <laughs> fuck yeah, no, no, no. Um, yeah, no, Madison Poorhouse, uh, if you, if, uh, during the course of the, the episode, we'll come up with a uh, secret, super secret hashtag. You respond on our Instagram page or Twitter, where the fuck, with that, with that hashtag, uh, you get a free uh, drink token. At, on our Instagram, it'd be at EIK Fellas, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, also, too, we set a date for our next, next live show. Did we talk about that last week? No, we didn't because we um, hadn't said it. Yeah, we, we hadn't said we, it yet. We shamed Aaron and then he <laughs> texted us before we released it. Yep. Um, but yeah, no. So, yeah, it was right after we recorded yep, last yep. week. I went to the poor house. Um, yeah. So uh, the, the next live show will be on the 19th of June at seven o'clock. Um, there's going to be some fun stuff. We're going to have some stuff. 
More to come on that. <laughs> There'll be stuff. 19th of June, bring your 19th mom. 19th of June. You're really selling that, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> we had a good time last time. And uh, actually, speaking of the poorhouse, you want to go to the poorhouse later, Jake? That sounds perfect. All right, I think that's what we're going to do. So we got Jake. I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what I we're th- going to do. I think I'm very happy to be here with the fuck boys. <laughs> the yes. fuck boys in Troy. <laughs> and I'm very so happy. thankful. We're very happy to have Jake on the podcast today, Jake Tales. Tales about what the fuck is going on. I don't know. I'm really fucking tired today. <laughs> Tell us about yourself, Jake. I'm Jake, and I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's I'll all talk you got? more a little bit later. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, let's roll into the old man minute real quick here, and then we'll get the podcast started. Um, how do EIK fellas? Well, another tax season is over, my 38th, except for the hundred or so extensions to do. This shit is getting old. Without further ado, topic one. Our father also, uh, if you're new to the podcast, he emails in, recaps from last week. All right, riding a bus. In my days, we all rode the bus or hitchhiked. Uncle Joe Kane and I always... Before serial killers were invented. (laughs) Uh, uh, Uncle Joe Kane and I always wanted to take, uh, take a day ride on the bus in disguise just to screw with people. Sadly, we never did. I think one scenario we planned would work well to mess with the root people from Long Island. Chris dresses as a homeless person since he's ne- he, since he nearly has that look knocked away. Andy gives Chris a little spritz of bucaric acid, eau du vomit, before he gets on board. The masses part like the Red Sea, and Chris takes a seat midship. A few minutes into the ride, uh, Chris removes a Ziploc bag from his coat containing two live goldfish and three <laughs> cut carrots. He reaches into the bag, grabs one of the carrots, and pops it into his mouth. If the students don't exit at the next stop, repeat. Topic two. <laughs> Wait, hold on. This is your dad? This is, yeah, it's my father. And what is he talking about? Last week's episode. Yeah, he's talking uh, about last week's episode. He also is kind of going on a little journey there. Yeah, he, 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 does, he does that from time to time. Uh, topic two, uh, trash sitcoms. I think All in the Family was initially good, but it ran too long and created five lousy spinoffs. All, my all-time favorite has to be The Golden Girls. I haven't watched any of the new episodes of The Big Bang Theory, once again, it's run its course. And Andy, I don't think of you as Sheldon. Uh, the Brainiacs remind me of my high school friends that were into physics and Star Trek. And yes, I know both of you are banging your girlfriends like screen doors and windstorms since middle school. Jesus. I don't know why you need to add to that, but okay. Um, I was actually private gonna, life. Yeah. I was going to skip that, but I, I just kind of ran with it. Okay, whatever. Uh, topic three, Mortal Kombat uh, with billionaires, since I know less about Mortal Kombat than Eric did. Woof. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Love the old man. Oh no, my synthesizer's off. Did we? No, it's cool. Oh. Without further ado, we're moving on now to topic, topic. number one. I listened to these before, and I always thought that was recording. No, nope. no, you didn't. No, live. it's live. Yeah. Fuck it, we do it live. That's why it fucks <laughs> up every once in a while. All right, fellers, uh, I have something to talk to you guys today, and uh, that is baths. Do you take them? Do you like them? Big fan of baths. Let's talk about baths, baby. Let's talk about you and me. I haven't really had an opportunity to take a bath in a while. That is a main point of my discussion. Uh, When you're not um, affluent, you don't get a big tub of water because the tub (laughs) of water is expensive. (laughs) Well, uh, okay, so <laughs> what? <laughs> so a lot of the uh, places we've lived in, um, they haven't had baths, mm-hmm. but some of them have, and they're disgusting. Yeah, so yeah. So I would never use it. You could take a bath in a lot of apartments if and you want to get Lyme st- disease or staph infection or staph infection. <laughs> I have a brand new bath and I love it. <laughs> this is at the Mayflower. To, at the Mayflower, you fucking. Look. I go there. I get a bunch of Epsom salt, like they do on like the mm-hmm. like, E Channel and stuff. <laughs> fucking two hours lavender. I'm out. Oh, you got that big bag of lavender Epsom salt from CVS? Yeah. Yeah. I, I love got that it. Too. I do it for like two hours every day. I go to sleep. It's like meditating. It's so you, like, you take a bath every day? Generally, yeah. Five days a week, probably. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it's work. I work like 50 hours. And after that, I just want to take a bath. Huh. Yeah, because right, I used not... to just get drunk. And I'm like, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you can do both at the same yeah. time. I think you'll die, right? You can't drink no, in a hot you're tub. Not supposed, you're not supposed to drink in a hot tub. You can drink in a bath. Yeah, it, bath, you'll be all, all the Epsom salt like keeps you, <laughs> keeps you above the water. You above the water, you'll be all right. Um, it's okay. like those sensory deprivation things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah same concept. Yep, magnesium salts. Yeah, just in your little apartment. Just a little <laughs> time to yourself. Okay, so uh, do you th- how do you think they compare to showers? 
And they, I prefer showers. I mean, I prefer showers usually, but I don't also get the option to take a good bath. I take a shower. Every, well, it's different because I'm not trying to clean myself when mm-hmm. I take a bath. That's just yeah, because like, you're not cleaning yourself when you take a bath. No, you're just yeah. relaxed. Like I'm already clean yeah. and stuff. Like mm-hmm. it's fine. You're just making some people soup. Yeah, but it's nice clean off as people soup, <laughs> so it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> uh, would you rather be made into soup or made into tea? This is something I wrote on the sheet. So I think by that you're saying that by, being, I don't know that by, by getting into a bath, we, we are some sort of... You're either soup or you're tea. Yeah. Which one are you? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I would say that I am tea because I'm going to color the bath. Okay, because you're dirty. Exactly. <laughs> Jake, are you super tea? I'm, yeah, I'm definitely super tea, but I don't think of it like that, though. <laughs> it's like I think of it as like tea is like... Tea's more, like the highfalutin. More, I feel like Chris isn't even tea or soup. I feel like he's mo- a stew. <laughs> yeah, I'm a yeah, stew. but like most of the soup you have sucks. Like yeah. Campbell's soup. I don't want to be a Campbell's <laughs> soup. I want to be like, you know, nice French restaurant type of soup. <laughs> but like a tea, you can get any kind of shitty tea, and that's it's, true. It's still good. Chris's spaghettios. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just sticky and weird. Yeah, and <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Okay, we're going to have a quick uh, honesty check here. At what age did you stop peeing in your bathtub? I, don't, I didn't. I, I still I do sometimes. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. I love the split opinions. <laughs> oh, I, I can't remember ever peeing in my bath, I the bathtub. Had, I personally had to make a conscious decision when I was like too old, like probably like 15, maybe something like that. I was like, I can't But you pee. peed in the fucking bathtub. I can't pee in the bathtub. It feels good to pee in the bathtub. Am I right? It feels phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, then the water just comes down and wipes it, like, wipes it all No, th- that water doesn't go anywhere. I mean, if you're taking a shower, it's still, you're in the bath. I'm not peeing in the bathtub when I'm taking my lavender bath. No, that's what he's talking about. Oh, no, I don't fuck with that. You, like, pee in the bathtub like an empty bathtub you're talking yeah. about? Yeah, I do that every that... fucking time I take a shower. Yeah, or shower. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying, like, while you're in the bathtub... Like, you're taking a bath, taking a piss. You're poisoning I... the well that you're drinking from. Oh, why would I do that with all my lavender soaps? I would never <laughs> harness <laughs> that mood. I think you're the only one there, bud. All right. You're 15? Or maybe you guys are fucking liars. Ever uh, think about that? Maybe I'm just too... I'm too fucking you're brave. too fucking real? I'm too real. <laughs> no, I do, like... Farting in the tub, though. Yeah. That's a good time. Bubbles come up. They yeah, smell right. different, too. They do. You ever they notice like... how fart smells different when it's not filtered through, like, your boxers well, or whatever? Well, it's, like, a very concentrated... Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, like, the most concentrated fart can be is in a bathtub. You can do a dab with a fart yeah. in a bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> catch it. You gotta catch it and yeah. go... Um, vape that fart. Hashtag vape that fart. Do you know how many places are named bath? A lot. Yeah. There's 12, do. there's 12 cities of Bath, or 16 different places in the United States called Bath. I just wanted to get that out. There's also, originally, there's a place called, in England. Uh, there's a place in Barbados, Canada. Two places in Canada, Jamaica, Jamaica, and the Netherlands. There's also a band called Baths. I was supposed to open with that. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, y'all bath bomb? You kind of bath bomb. Do you... Do you Bath bomb farting in the bathtub? No, nope. No, it's like, kind of like the Epsom salt thing. Yeah, oh, but yeah, like yeah, you yeah. throw them in there and it's got like rose petals. It's really romantic. I've, I've I, never used the I, I never use the rose yeah. petals. I just use like Dr. Teal's, if you're listening, Dr. Mm-hmm. Dr. Teal's soap. Epsom salt. <laughs> Sponsor Sponsored. us, doctor. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It's lavender scent. Speaking of sponsors, uh, Dollar Shave Club, I sent you an email. You, you said you were going to get back to me. You never did. <laughs> Ain't going to happen. I don't think it is. They know that we're too scrubby. Yeah. Uh, do you ever, do people shave in the bath? That's disgusting. But do they do it? I, Ladies do it, right? They shave their legs in the bath? I'm looking at Nicole. I'm sorry. I'm looking at Mog. Mog's giving me a weird look. Why would it be weird? Because oh, then all the hair is in the bath, right? Yeah. So, like, 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 shave while you're inside the bath. I don't know. I'm just thinking of, like, my facial hair that's very coarse. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of it. it mm-hmm. would be Like, just, like, trimming my beard in the bath would not be a good thing. That's what like pubic hair is like too. Yeah, mm. yeah. My, my facial hair is very similar to pubic hair. You got some pubic hair. <laughs> That's fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. So bath bombs, mm-hmm. um, are a very lucrative market. Yeah, yeah. They're basically just baking soda. Yep. Uh, do you think that we could maybe get into those? I think so. Rather um, easily. Um, we have to add. So we're getting in the vein now, like kind of like snake oil. Mm-hmm. So we need some type of hook. Okay, we gotta Beer have bombs. Beer, beer bombs. bombs. They probably make those. <laughs> they absolutely do. Look, look it up. Bath bombs that make you fucking drunk. <laughs> um, pipe bombs. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> uh, what about what about like a bath bomb that turns your 
bathtub into like ramen. It's so like soup bomb. Soup, soup bomb. Yeah, soup bomb. like it's like concentrated ramen packet. You throw it in there, and then boom, you got a whole kettle uh, full of ramen. Uh, margarita bomb, like in The Last Man on Earth. Okay. Yep. You can have a whole bathtub full of margaritas. You just drink it. Uh, Put some yeah. salt on the outside of the bathtub. Just <laughs> lick up the salt with all your extra dirt on top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's oh yeah. Gross. Yep. Oh, there it is. Beer bath bomb. God damn you. Why would you want? Oh, to that's a what bath a bath bomb is. Yeah. 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 They're like little little. Little circles, little spheres. No, they're big, man. I know, <laughs> but they're little in comparison to the the world. Yeah, really? Yeah, they're, 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 they're small in comparison to a, a car or a basketball <laughs> or a bomb, right? Right. Most yeah. bombs are smaller or bigger than that, in my experience. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's talk about shampoo showers now. Shampoo showers. Shampoo showers. Uh, no, no, no body wash, no soap, just shampoo. Listen, if you had body wash or soap. You wouldn't be taking a shampoo shower. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you use Ex- whatever. I didn't even explain a shampoo, shampoo shower. Shampoo shower is when you generally... It's when <laughs> we're losing Jake here. And, and I, <laughs> a shampoo shower is when you go into the shower and you say, oops, no soap, no ba- body wash, yeah. nothing else. I have to use shampoo to wash my body because otherwise I can't get on the bus. Yeah. yeah it's because like, they'll throw me off for being homeless. Oh yeah, I I take lavender baths, like salt baths. I don't know, bath salts. What are they called? <laughs> Fuck bath salts. Bath salts. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think of shampoo shower? Yeah, you take shampoo shower when you live with three other guys and they fucking use all your soap, and then don't replace it. Eric, mm-hmm. Eric, you're on blast. Not, I used to live not in the a, Eric from last week. The Eric from episode two. <laughs> yeah, episode two. I used to live in a boarding house, and I used to go to like the community bathroom, and just use the hand soap and just mm-hmm. wash my face, wash my hair. I just do that. That's how I kind of never bought soap for like two years. <laughs> That's amazing. It was, oh, yeah. I had the, yeah, it was amazing. But yeah, I had the driest skin. <laughs> People didn't really talk to me that much. Nice. <laughs> and the driest yeah. skin. I felt terrible. My hair <laughs> fell out. But yeah, no, it was great. Uh, okay, so uh, I made a quick pros and cons list of uh, shampoo showers. Um, pros, they're the same... Shampoo no. and soap are the same. Shampoo no, and soap one, are the one's, same. One's different than the other. No, they're the same. I don't know, look at the ingredients. They're the same. They're the That's how things. I buy them. Yeah, you yeah. Have to look mm-hmm. at the ingredients. It's they're the, the same. same. Uh, okay. Uh, here's a con, honest con. Uh, you got all the body wash problems. It just doesn't fucking stick to your body. It's hard to wash yourself with, with well, what body wash. Well, what you want to do with body wash is just put a little bit of uh, uh, corn syrup inside of it, and then you get a nice stick on it. What You're putting fuck? corn syrup in your body wash. No, I'm not fucking doing I that. No, but I know. But like, think about that. I know that was the fucking joke, Andy. Okay. Okay. It doesn't can stick you to your arm part. The joke one more yeah, time. I didn't yeah. get that. It wasn't funny enough. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um. How about uh, the idea that you don't have a uniform smell from top to bottom, or that you do have a you have a what I'm trying to say is when you take a shampoo shower, your hair smells the same as your armpits smell the same as your toes. But you don't that walk a out naked. It's like people only smell your head. So. Yeah, but what if someone's giving you a kiss on the on the top of your head? Maybe your papa. And sucking your toes at the same time? That's that's somebody else. Someone behind the curtain. That's your mom. <laughs> that's your mom. <laughs> okay. Um, how about this? Uh, you can't go out if you're not clean, right? Yeah. You can't leave the house. Yeah, no, you can. You yeah. can leave the house. You can leave the house. Okay. Uh, what about your body dander? My body dander. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What if you put on dander shampoo and all of a sudden you look luxurious from top to bottom? Doesn't work. Tried it. You haven't tried it. I've tried it. Oh, you've tried it. Yeah. Doesn't work. It. It doesn't work. You have no. a lot of dandruff. A ton. I'm bald. Is that a motherfucker? Yeah. No, I have a bunch of dandruff. That's yeah. that like Head and Shoulders works. It'll work for like Head and shoulders a again month. If you're listening <laughs> yeah, sponsor. sponsor us It works for like a month for me And then I have to like Switch the brand To something different I have to, oh, I have to yeah. confuse my dandruff <laughs> <laughs> Keep them on their toes yeah. Which are yeah. clean With shampoo <laughs> Alright well I'm glad That you guys hated my topic That was an awesome talk What are you talking about? Uh, we gotta change the vibe here guys I had a lot of fun <laughs> 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 Moving on now to topic Number Two. All right, that's you, Jake. Okay, yeah. Well, I don't know, like a lot recently, like this past winter, I've been a huge fan of watching local TV news. Okay. 
And I, I didn't know I was I supposed to prepare anything, so <laughs> so we should talk I about thought, local I, news. I, I thought it was an open dialogue. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because so yeah, so what what about to, you don't need to be an asshole and write up a list. Okay, yeah. okay, because <laughs> hey, that, that was impressive. I was I not expecting guys, that. Whatever. I don't know because I was watching this thing the other day and it was fucking cracking me up. It was this weatherman just like giving the local weather, and this little kid comes running by. Like, out of nowhere. So everyone uh-huh. starts laughing. So you just get like, hey, do you want to point to the weather? He's like, there's a bunch of toots and farts over there. <laughs> and I just fucking love local news. And it cuts a local television, like, infomercials of, like, firework shows and stuff. The Huck fins I could, and that kind of shit. I could, yeah, I could watch this all day. Just, like, eat corn dogs. And just, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> just eat corn dogs and watch local news? Um, I... I haven't watched local news in a while. Robbie's a big local news guy. He I don't want you. Yeah, yeah I, I don't have cable, great. so yeah. well, he, he, neither do he we. Use it over the air, but I yeah, don't have we, that. We either. have uh, we have the antenna. They cost like twenty bucks. Um, but yeah, no, there's always local news on, and he'll actually uh, he'll watch like news segments back to back, and it's the same fucking. <laughs> it isn't though, because once in a while, like they really screw up, <laughs> and it's like at these low budget things. It's so funny. Yeah, like, yeah. the music's always off. Like. Like they're like, they're trying to be the best at their job, but they're just at like, you know, local fucking yeah. channel 39 CNN. Mm-hmm. So they'll never be that good. They're always right. the ones that just will never succeed at the news game, but they're <laughs> trying their hardest. And yeah. Do you, it's wonderful. Do you think that Sean Hannity started in the local news? No. Do you I don't think, think he so. Did? No, I don't. Can you look that up? Yeah, I'm going to look that up. Cause that. like he's like that. Sean Hannity. I bet he probably started. He probably went to like Ivy League. He probably right. did some broadcasting like yeah. throughout college and like that, and then he's got a cushy job. Radio guy. Radio. Oh, radio you, you wonder what? Is, he yeah. was a radio guy, and I think he got fired for being a racist. Oh, well, that's funny. That's like a lot of ra- like a lot of racists do that too. Yeah. But a lot of yeah. Is he a sports guy, yeah. Sean he's Handy? A, no, he's a no, he's no, a he's Fox he's News correspondent. Oh, okay. Talk he got in trouble recently. Did you he's know? That it was just the ten year anniversary of the Great Stomp Lady. Oh, really? Oh, no oh, way. Oh. And did you know that after she left that station, she became a weather lady? Is that the PC term? Yeah. In Albany at WTEM. No. What? How do we miss the fucking grape lady? What's she doing now? Say the segment. She, she get her on the cast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Another one that was just amazing. Like, that yeah, happens you get those, all the time. You get those those gems. Or like a boom goes a dynamite, mm-hmm. and, and and he passed the ball and, and f- shot the ball, and boom boom goes dynamite. Yeah, uh, he was fired for Sean Hannity. Um, Sean Hannity was fired for um, doing two segments about how uh, AIDS was like a government conspiracy. Oh, cool! Oh, just cool. seen that kimchi and told, yeah. and told a lesbian uh, caller, "I feel sorry for your child." Jesus <laughs> Christ! Ah, stand up guy, fine feller. Um. Yeah, so I, I think that local news can be really fucking goofy. Like, uh, we there was something somebody from Utica. There was this guy with Tourette's. Uh, it was like a weatherman with Tourette's. It was like a viral video. He just said like like fucking piss ass or something like yeah. that in the middle of the segment. Why would they make him the weatherman? I I mean <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, make him the, ca- make him the camera. Don't, don't put him on mic. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's like I feel like the weather one's tricky because you're like you're pointing at a green screen, but mm-hmm. looking at some other screen. So you have to be like pretty good. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sure Tourette's people are probably good at that, but like, yeah, no, it, it definitely being rec- like broadcast, I think, can definitely uh, uh, push you in a direction where <laughs> you might get stressed, and then your ticks might yeah. come out. Yeah, it, like you ever see the British ones? They're like super funny. Cause like I think I feel like British people have looser mouth, like looser like mm-hmm. I-, I guess like cuss words than we do. Yeah, and so they just say the most ridiculous like sexist. Not even sexist. I mean like they're saying like they I'll say fucking rub you off and like you yeah. don't even know it. And yeah. then all of a sudden yeah. they're like they don't realize it too because yeah. they just said earlier just talking to their boss earlier and that was acceptable, but now they're like in, in like fucking and you're in Bath, England. <laughs> <laughs> just talking. <laughs> uh, I like Australian. Uh, public news is pretty good because <laughs> yeah. normally either like about a shark killing somebody or a or spider like, killing somebody, or a spider killing somebody, or the one guy that uh, um, had his neighbor put in a, uh, a house next door to him, and he he said he didn't want that there because he didn't want the windows there. And there was an agreement, so as protest, he just fucking was naked all the time, like doing the, <laughs> like barbecuing naked, and they're doing the fucking interview with this guy, and he's just bare ass fucking naked, just talking about it. it's wonderful. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Good job, Andy. 
What? <laughs> I'm assuming you were the naked guy. Oh, I, w- I would be a naked guy. Yeah. I would do it. Wait, but it was just like so campy too. And that's, it's so like a um, local news, almost universal, like to be like super on the nose about shit. Yeah. Because what do you think he's barbecuing? Hot dogs. Exactly. <laughs> Fucking sausage. Yeah. As he's naked. That's it's awesome. Dick. Yeah. This just in, local dog was pet today. Local dog, good boy. There was a dude in Thailand, like it happened today too. He like wanted to get his son's tooth out because he had okay. a loose tooth. So he tied his string to it to a fucking arrow and <laughs> shot the Boeing arrow and the arrow went flying. So it's fucking some so, rural part of Thailand. So like like local news is, is like a, a step above like YouTube prank videos, I feel like. Sometimes, sometimes. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are we gonna talk about the the local news voice? What's the local like Hi, it's oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Well it's, it's kinda how I do the, the ad read in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. This episode is brought to you by. That's pretty good. <laughs> Thanks, man. Let's. Uh, do you guys want to? You want to do a segment real quick? All right. This so, just uh, in. Let's. Let's. Do you want to do the fajita guy? Yeah, let's do the fajita guy. Hey, we've got uh, Chris here in the studio. He's going to tell us a little bit about a uh, a big a bit of crime in the city today. Uh, we hear that there's a a bit of a, some robbery going on. Do you, do you have anything about that, Chris? Yeah, so I'm I'm here with uh with with local man uh fajita guy, uh, <laughs> that's, that's that's gonna be you, Jake. Hello, I, I like fajitas. <laughs> Chris, can you hear me? Chris, are you breaking up? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit of, breaking up a little bit. It's a little bit of a delay. It sounds like. <laughs> no, keep it going. <laughs> so you lost Audible, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I can do a different voice. I'll do a Texas guy. It turns out Audible doesn't pay. Yeah, it doesn't pay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, so what about the fajitas? So uh, so what started you, like, collecting fajitas? You don't like fajitas. I, I know. I never say anything if, if I like to dislike fajitas. Just, uh, w- why do you like fajitas? Are you saying you don't collect fajitas? <laughs> So, so this isn't an indictment of me. I'm just asking you a couple of questions. Chris, we're back in the studio. Are you safe out there? This man looks um, dangerous. I'm not, I'm not quite sure, to be honest, Andy. Calm yourself down. We're just talking about <laughs> no, so I'm, I'm more than calm, sir. Are you? I, I, I'm ever <laughs> more calm in my life. So that help. <laughs> All right, we're going to cut to... Uh, something that's not improv. Something that's not improv with the weather. <laughs> uh, it's cloudy outside. It's a lot of farts and toots. <laughs> So what's the best uh, local segment you've seen besides the farts and toots guy? That's the like that's like the closest one that I remember. This one is for, I think it was from like last year. Is this guy is a ABC thirty and it was like in Fresno, California, and there's a Guardians of the Galaxy kind of like um it, like it got famous. It was a Guardians of the Galaxy mm-hmm. like kind of like a ride. Okay, and it's just this dude he's talking. He's like, "Where are the Guardians of the Galaxy?" And it's like gonna be so fun. All of a sudden, it takes off, and he starts fucking screaming. <laughs> and the anchors are just laughing, and there's these old people are like, are you okay? <laughs> he's like, ah! It's fucking amazing. One well, of the greatest things ever. I remember there was one where the uh, the anchor and the, the guy on the street like got into a fight, like a little tiff. Okay. And it was, it was something like, you know, all right, you know, Jim, and like something like that. Like, well, I wouldn't, you know, probably bounce uh, bounce that over to me that way. It's like, well, you know, uh, I'm here in the in the studio and you're on the street, so you're gonna do what I tell you. Oh well, no, son. If I was your boss, well, you used to be my boss and you're not anymore. So why don't you tell us about wow. that? Wow, <laughs> <Dude, laughs> fucking, fucking hell yeah! Especially with the voice, just yeah. like it's like I couldn't give a shit what you have to say. Uh, how about you read the cards, <laughs> asshole? <laughs> Back to you, Jim. Why is everyone named Jim in news? Uh, it's an easy word to say, an yeah, easy name to that's say. That's true. Single, it's monosyllabic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The uh no. 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 Should we go back to improv again? It was getting <laughs> fun. Oh yeah, that was <laughs> <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ. So um what are the what are the big news uh news places, news stations in Albany? What are they? Oh god, I don't fucking know. Channel four. <laughs> Channel no, six. I have no clue what they are. Channels one through two ter- three. There's on when I'm getting my oil changed. I love it. <laughs> How often do you get your oil change? I used to have a really shitty car, so like a lot. Like I was there, like not to brag, but a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> the freshest oil, dude. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, I I've started watching Family Feud at the laundromat now. 
Um, <laughs> How do you always time it? The family shoot is on when you go. I, just that. God does it for me. Yeah. Um, but it's always yeah. on, and then I can I, I just sit there, and it's a very communal experience. And then the news comes on, and people are like, "Wow, somebody got shot!" And then, and then people are sad. But then Steve Harvey comes back, and they do Fast Money, and then they win the car. It's a great time. It's a real roller coaster of emotions in the laundromat. Um, what's it called? Uh, we could talk about our local news a little bit, like the Utica OD. That's like notoriously bad at reporting things. What are they done? I don't know. It's bad stuff. And the bad stuff. Yeah. <laughs> cool. It's not good. I wish that we were real newsmen if we knew <laughs> stuff about what's going on yeah. in, the, in the world. Yeah, well, we, we do know things that are going on in the world, so I got to talk about them on the podcast. Yeah, it's podcast. true. <laughs> it's part of our mission statement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we got more local news stuff, or what are we doing here? Yeah, I can keep talking about local news. Tell me more. Want, Tell but... me more. Who's, who are you crushing on yeah. in the news? Who's like the hunkiest? Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper? By far, yeah. He doesn't age. That's true. He yeah. is a time lord. He's got that kind of like Steve Martin thing going on, where he's got the Steve kid. Martin when he was like young yeah. and like hot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's got, still got about. the white hair. He's old, but he's young, <laughs> but he's old. You know. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's like I don't know. There's so many things to local news that I just love. It's I, I could talk like the like the cinematography of it is amazing. So poorly done. <laughs> That's how great it is. It's like yeah. watching the room, but it's on for like an hour in the morning, <laughs> an hour at 11, an hour at 1. And I when you go to bed, you just go to bed happy after your, like, your lavender bath. <laughs> <laughs> I saw one where they were eating like really spicy chips. And that was mm-hmm. fun, watching them all puke. <laughs> yes. What? That's what? Like, that's amazing. That yeah. doesn't happen anywhere yeah, I love else. Yeah, they'll like get in on trends. They're like, this yeah. is a viral video. Let's uh, let's try it out. And then they're fucking <laughs> doing cinnamon challenge or, or the, something like or, that. Like interviewing the grumpy cat or something yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, or like, oh, there was one I saw too the other day. Um, They had like a fucking baby like like lion or something like that and tried to eat a baby that was also on. A, they like, had a like baby a and a baby, baby lion yeah. and the baby lion tried to eat the human yeah. baby. It wasn't really a baby. It was like a adolescent lion and okay. tried to grab the baby and it was it was it was really funny it wasn't funny as much as it was worrying <laughs> it was quite yeah it was a little concerning um yeah there are snakes on sometimes that's kind of cool oh yeah animal guy on yeah. on the local news is yeah. always a fun segment it's yeah. like i've got 15 gerbils and 10 cats <laughs> 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 who's gonna win <laughs> probably the cats yeah, right the cats yeah, yeah cats gerbils versus don't stand a chance yeah. 15 yeah. though it's three to one more yeah, than but three to still, one. I, I don't think gerbils are, are that aggressive, are they? Yeah, they'll bite you. Yeah, yeah. That fucking gerbils suck as pets. They'll bite your fucking fingers. So this wasn't a race. No, no, no. It's it's a okay. battle for survival. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think I think we're gonna okay. move on to the okay. next topic here, guys. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, it's great being here. <laughs> Moving on now to <laughs> topic. <laughs> Number three. All right. So uh, my topic is topic three. Um, so what we're going to talk about in my topic, we kind of hit on a little bit when we're talking about uh, uh, what's it called spicy chips. I want to talk about stupid viral challenges on YouTube and such. Ah, uh, yes. So I've got a couple that I want to talk about, hit on first, and then ultimately I want to come up with our own. Something okay. that we can give to our younger audience to try and hopefully maim themselves in some way. Yeah, yeah. I'd like someone to get hurt permanently. Yep. yep. All right, so uh, uh, one of the big ones right now is uh, the condom challenge. Have you heard of that, Jay? Did that ever take off? I saw off? that in local news today. Kids are like eat, like blowing condoms up their nose yep. or something. They pull out the mouth. Yeah. Yeah. That local is, news. Yeah, yeah. Saw that today. <laughs> local news is great for spreading <laughs> yeah. fear. Yeah. Yeah. It's, oh, it's it is. wonderful. Soccer, I love it. it. Yeah. Um. So that's actually not a new one. That was around like about ten years ago, and it's now come back. Nice, like, man. The world is a a times a flat circle. oyster. Yeah. All right. Another one. Uh. Tide pods. Obviously. You guys have yeah. heard of that? They had to lock them up. They had to. I think did Tide discontinue them or no? No. No. no they, I, so, I use them. I love them. Uh, they uh they Huge put fan. out they put out like a uh, th- there was like some Congress people that tried to say to Tide Pods like hey you know don't color these in this way because mm-hmm. people want to eat them and they put out this statement saying no we have ones that aren't colored because they do you, do you know why they wanted to eat Tide Pods do you probably because they look like fucking gummy bears that's exactly what it is they look yeah. like big old gushers and they're like yeah, oh yeah, gushers, yeah, yeah. Why, why don't you eat one of those and then so uh, Tide's like no we have ones that don't have dyes in them that's a different brand. If you're that stupid, 
called fucking poison control. <laughs> right, right. Um, Tide's not about to be bullied. They don't yeah. negotiate with terrorists. Absolutely not. <laughs> uh, so then there's the other ones where like the uh, uh, the challenge is like for something, but I never know what that thing is. Okay. Like the ice bucket challenge. What's that for? ALS. Or ALS. AWS. It's an Amazon cloud. Yeah, web services. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, I'm trying to think, I don't think I have any of the other ones. Uh, oh, there was, nope, nope, nothing else for good stuff. Cinnamon challenge. Well, there's cinnamon, from... cinnamon challenge. That uh, was great. That I was did, like, I that was that. kind of the first. That was for diabetes, right? No, yes. that was, <laughs> that was just for fucks. <laughs> um. That was for killing yourself. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's just gross. <laughs> uh, so then a couple other ones, we got the lip challenge where like, the, like, Made their lips like really puckered. Oh yeah, like, you like suck like on a that. bottle until your yeah. lips get fat. Yeah, they gotta like, break your blood vessels. They used to have like that. Remember you ever seen those those porn things with that? The suction cup on like the vaginas. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I, no, I've seen those. Yeah, those are weird. <laughs> Same idea. <laughs> um. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry. Right. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Nicole does not approve. Uh, then there's like the pepper challenges. Obviously, eating like stupidly hot yeah, peppers, yeah, which yeah. is just fucking dumb. Um, but, but, but then this is what I found today. Uh, so there's a couple that are just outlandishly fucking stupid. There's one just called the fire challenge. Okay. And you just light yourself on fire. You do your entire body? <laughs> That's... I don't know. I like the simplicity of that. <laughs> it's, it's really just... It's pure. Yeah, just <laughs> gets right to the point. I think I think you get some fucking hand sanitizer and just light your fucking self on fire. I mean, I can light my hands on fire with sand oh, no, sanitizer. No, no, they, they like dump it on their heads. Their whole they, body? And they light themselves on That's fire. That's too much fire. So when I was searching for this, <laughs> it, it was like, I'm like, all right, just like dumb the things and... It was like, you know, the fire challenge. We are right, click into that. And the only video that came up was like, fire ch- challenge fails. Because <laughs> obviously that's just not a good thing to fucking What's do. What's a fire challenge win? What's the win I don't know, condition not here? getting like, fucking burned. You're a Buddhist monk. And yeah. You're that's yeah. what I was thinking. Like, like, Tenement Square. Yeah. Uh, um, so uh, what about the uh, gallon milk chug challenge? Ah, yes. Oh. The gallon challenge. Yep. That's, you, 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 you can't, can't do, do that, right? Yeah, you it's just, impossible. So why try? Because internet. It's fun. Hey, what, about the, what about the what about the the milk mile? You ever hear about that one? Well, that sounds fun. No, you drink a glass. You, you run four laps on the on the on the track, but in between each lap, you chug a glass of milk. That it's like a beer mile, but with awful. milk. Um, we did that when we were kids. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, no, not you. Uh, like, um, <laughs> I mean, if you you don't remember, but I uh, was I gonna say, uh, Matt Maggio. Uh, we I got everybody to the. Uh, to the track at the junior high school, and everyone puked on the track at That's the junior high school. fucking disgusting. I didn't do it, because I don't like to run or drink <laughs> milk. Yeah, milk is fucking dog shit. Um, so have you guys heard of the salt water challenge? What could this be? Yeah, what is that? Um, you drink salt water and you die. No, no, actually what it is, is it's uh, you, you take an ice cube, and you put salt water on your arm, and you put the ice cube on your arm, that lowers the temperature of salt water before right. freezing, and you just fucking burn yourself with... Not burn yourself, but... You yeah, get, you give yourself a good old... Yeah, you give yourself frost, uh, frostbite, pretty much. I saw pictures of kids with, like, fucking gigantic welts up and down their their forearms from this shit. Can you do this in the summertime? I would assume so. Sounds like a good way to cool off on yeah. a summer day. <laughs> I mean, at least they're learning bears. about fucking science. Yeah, you're, just, learning, yeah. Yeah. you're learning about, you know... Uh, you're learning about chemistry there with yep. with the the ice challenge. You're learning about poison and its effect on the body with Tide Pods. I mean, cinnamon challenge. You're learning about your gag reflex. Like, it's important things. And your palate. And your palate. Yep. Yeah. So, let's make a challenge. Okay. Does it? It there seems to be a common thread here that there's pain. Mm-hmm. Or physical injury involved. Yes, pretty much. Is that something so we let, want to endorse let's, publicly? Let's <laughs> let's, yes. let's peel it back here, and we do. Let's peel it back. We need a cause. What's our cause? What do we want to save or raise awareness about? Ah, uh, we got to get Fajita Man out of jail. Okay. <laughs> or post so in bail for Fajita Man. Yeah. Okay. So so we're gonna do this for a GoFundMe, I think. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Like a legal fund. Can I think that's what GoFundMe. Yeah, that's a legal fund. Can we right? throw like a bunch of jalapenos, like in a food processor, mm-hmm. blow some rails for Fajita Man, snort a pepper, snort a pepper for uh, for Fajita Man. I feel like it's just got to be the pepper challenge, and everybody knows that it's for Fajita Man. We're also setting ourselves on fire. Okay, so you, <laughs> if you really want them to get out, you'll set yourself on yeah. fire anyway. So that's true. If you really, you're turning yourself into a fajita. You're snorting the peppers yeah. and then <laughs> charring the outside of your body. 
and then jump in a bath of ice water with ice cubes. Just for the fuck of it. Well, to put the fire out. Oh, to put the fire out. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm with it. Okay, so... Um, what else we have? Yeah. I mean, is there any other way that we can hurt ourselves for charity? Uh, uh, snort razor blades. Snort razor blades. Okay. That might be... We put that in the food processor, too? Yep. Okay. Got to have a strong food processor. Sorry, right, we can find one. Okay. We'll talk to the Blunt Tech guys. Blunt Tech does it blend? I, I bet it does. Yep. All right, so we saved Fajita, man. Okay. Now we want monetary gain. So we're looking for maybe going above the cap. We have a cap on this yep. as far as the money. Like, we'll 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 get, like, $5,000 for Fajita, man. Enough it's for him to post pretty it. Fucking, it's being pretty fucking generous. That's generous? He's, he's got all that Fajita money. <laughs> he's not giving that Fajita money back. That's true. He has no, been... I'm not. Pro- no, <laughs> <laughs> Um... So we've once we get Fajita Man out of jail, the challenge continues, or is it over then? Well, see, I would, I, I want, I want to figure out a way that once these people do these challenges, they give us their parents' credit card because the, the, there's definitely teenagers doing this. Okay, yeah, yeah. They give our their their parents' credit card numbers to us. Oh, I've got it. It's nap on your parents' credit card challenge. Okay. Oh, and then send a picture of and it in. Send a picture in. Hell. We reverse the pictures. Yeah. We get the number. How Make long? sure to put the CCV <laughs> yeah. on, on the well, back. Well, you, you got to show the back of the, the back, back of, of the it card to prove that it's an actual credit card. Right. Right. We need we need that that mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Okay. Mm, I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. How about write your parents' social security number on your arm and then take it off with a freezing cold ice cube. Mm-hmm. Do mm-hmm. it in salt. Wipe it with the ice cube. We'll have. You know, a couple credit cards in their name before the video is do- over. I'm only worried about the ink on that. Okay. It might come off. It saying. will come off. Yeah. Well, it'll be recorded. So. Yeah, yeah. We'll freeze oh, frame gotcha. it. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. We'll freeze frame it. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, fuck yeah. Let's yeah. do it. So who do we have to call? Do we have to do it first or something? I think... Mm, I No, I'm not doing that. How do they get started? That's a good I question. Challenge Someone's famous. Andy and Chris. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... Credit card number on your arm or whatever challenge. I mean, I'm with it. Uh, okay, so I think to go back to local news, we need to do one of these, and yes. we have to have one of them to pick it up. That's how you really get your viral video to like spread, yeah. is you have to scare some parents. Yeah, I'm sure we can definitely do that and get on local news. Mm-hmm. Should be too hard. Like You watch local news all the time. Like You got it in, right? You know somebody? They can see you on the other know. side <laughs> of the screen. Call up Ernie and ask this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> Jim, I've heard that they are snorting peppers and then lighting themselves on fire to save Fajita Man. It is crazy. Oh, we're both doing it. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 go ahead. Dave with the weather. <laughs> yeah. It's a bunch of farts and chews. <laughs> <laughs> F- Fajita Man? Who, who's, who's Fajita Man? Oh, well, Fajita Man is a man who stole $1.2 million worth of fajitas from a juvenile detention center. <laughs> Uh, seems like a lot, seems excessive, uh, but it does, he does seem to have a cult following. They want him out of jail. Are are they, are they jumping into ice water? Yes, they are. (laughs) (laughs) Where did you come from, sir? Wait, we've got the exclusive interview with Fajita Man. Fajita Man in studio. Hi, how are you? (laughs) I'm good. How are you? What, what, what do you serve with a fajita? Do you, do you always grill the peppers? Are you kidding me? It's always fajitas with peppers. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Calm down. Put the gun down. It's, it's okay. It's okay. He's got a frying pan. <laughs> it's a frying pan. It's a red no hot. gun. <laughs> Fucking jalapenos. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> My entire life, people have thought that this voice meant I had of brandishing a weapon. He looks like that's his voice, too. Oh, yeah. Totally there he does, is. Yeah. Local news. I found it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... We get we get all the credit yeah. card numbers. We yep. opened up many, you know, we steal people's identities, blah blah blah. You guys know. How I think is. what we do with the credit card numbers is we buy a bunch of loot boxes on Fortnite or one of those like uh pay to pl- uh free to play games. Yeah, freemium. Freemium games and then we sell them back to the kids. Okay. Double up on that. And uh, then they send us Tide Pods. Okay. Okay. And then we and take- we sell the Tide Pods to Jake. Mm-hmm. Jake does his laundry. He gives us some quarters. We take the quarters and we, sell we eat the quarters. And then that's the new challenge. And that's the challenge. Yeah, quarters. quarters. E- the, the Susan. Fuck. He's she's not on the. Quarter. I like this business model. This is. It'll be the George Washington challenge. No, the fifty state challenge. Eat one yep. quarter from every state. Yep. 
<laughs> Fuck yes. Oh my god, yeah. Fifty quarters, that's a lot of money too. Yeah, it's like twenty five bucks. And then they send us their duties. <laughs> and then we have the dissect the duty like challenge. Buy yourself a new bath. Yeah. <laughs> and then you dissect the duties. Just we have to verify they ate all fifty states. Yep. They send us in their stool samples. They're very heavy. We also get in with uh MailChimp or something like that. Probably MailChimp. Mail they chimp. Mail chimp. <laughs> um and we could probably use the stools th- uh, samples to harvest DNA that we could send to twenty three and me. Twenty three and me, who already sells your information. Yes, don't forget about that. Yep. Do you guys want to hear a funny story about stool samples? Sure, sure. Okay. Always down. For I was like, I was young and I was like really sick. I was sick for like months and like they had no clue what was wrong with me. And so the doctor like wanted me to have a stool sample, but I was like, I didn't know really what that was. I was like twelve, but I just knew like he gave me a, like a cup. Mm-hmm. He's like, there has to be some stool in there, which I later turned out was poop. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like the middle of winter times. So I'm like, okay, okay. So I just went outside with this cup and just fucking took a huge turd in this and jammed it in there, <laughs> <laughs> threw it in the freezer. Like two weeks later go by. I was like, do you have your stool sample? And so I get it. And I just bring it. She doesn't know because I wrap it in like tin foil. I just give it to the doctor, and he opens it up. And he's like, "Ah!" <laughs> he's like, I just want a little, like a little piece. I don't need your whole. <laughs> so, so yeah, I just shit. Challenge. I just shat in a cup and gave it to a doctor, and they still didn't know what was wrong with me. <laughs> That's like a take-home test. It is. You go home, you yeah. cheat a little bit. You know, it's yeah. good. I know. I was like over ambitious. Yeah, you write a whole essay instead of the one paragraph that they asked you for. I you know. brag about it on Instagram. What uh, about your good test? I think so. <laughs> Is that what people do? I think so. I watch a lot of Instagram videos now. They're not good. None of them are. Yeah. Ooh, Instagram videos. <laughs> Actually, you can, if you go to Instagram, you can watch our videos. Yeah, you can see us talk. Yep. And where would I find that? At EIK Fellows, baby. Yeah. Instagram, Twitter. Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> good job. Head of marketing. <laughs> Head of marketing. <laughs> Um, all right, so let's let's sync up this this uh, this challenge that we're going to give to our audience. Mm-hmm. The challenge is tell five people you know about this podcast, okay, <laughs> and then have them tell five people you know about this podcast. Mm-hmm. Come to our live show and buy beer at the poorhouse, mm-hmm. and then also get an audible sp- subscription. If you do that, it's it's kind of a bonus round because it doesn't really do anything. <laughs> that, yeah, it's just for funsies. Yeah, it's just for fun. Um, yeah. That there's a cat now. Is there another? This is the second week in a row cat's been on the table. Yeah. That's a great cat. She is a good cat. Um, do you want to talk about uh, uh, the, the mini episode we up, we put up this week? Oh, yeah. We put up a mini episode that was EIK out of time. Yep. Um, it was a lot of fun. A little, little, bonus, little bonus slice for you guys. Uh, we've got another one we're going to do, right? Yep. We're taking a week off. Yeah. yeah it's so. Uh, so next week there'll be another uh, similar episode uh, where it won't be uh, the, the, normal, the normal format. Um, we're gonna take a week off, recover. I'm I'm moving. Um, yeah. Oh, I gotta also plug. Uh, are we wrapping up now? I don't know. I, anything else for 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 challenges here, guys? Uh, the stool sample challenge. Yeah, the stool sample challenge. Eat a whole turd. How, how big of a turd can you get into that little cup? <laughs> it is. It's like four <laughs> inches, but it's wide. You can pack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to get uh something to tamp it down, like an espresso maker. You know oh, what I'm saying? Get a, a tamper? nice tamper. Yeah, yeah get a tamper. Um, okay, so I got to plug my friends from Space Carnival coming to town yes. uh, next week or this week uh, on Friday, the 26th, I believe. 27th. I don't know why you're looking at me. I don't know when they're coming. You don't know here. what dates are? I don't know what dates um, are. Anyway, uh, they're coming to town on Friday. They're going to be playing at the Hollow with Formula 5. Good music, good dudes, good times, good rhymes. Um, <laughs> that, was, that was terrible. Oh, yeah. did, we get a, did we get a hashtag for this episode? Fucking shit in a cup. <laughs> hashtag shit in a cup. I like toots and farts. Though. Toots and farts. Toots, toots and farts pretty good. <laughs> yeah, let's do hashtag toots and farts for toots this and farts. Uh, if you put in that on our Instagram page, you will get one pint from the Madison Poorhouse. We will give you a token. Um, uh, want to plug? Uh, we plugged it last week. Oh yes. Uh, Silent K. Silent K. They uh, are another podcast another... that we are trying to become best friends with. Yes, I, I, I was, I was interacting with them on Twitter today. Chris told them about trash melon. Yep, because fuck cantaloupe, and everyone needs to know. <laughs> yep, cantaloupe is dog shit. Thank you, Jake. No problem. I You're cantaloupe. coming back. <laughs> 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 um, any?
anything else? Uh, real quick, if you, if you're listening and you want to be on the podcast, we're uh, we're scheduling out for for next month. Uh, hit us up mm-hmm. for May. Um, what's up? May. Yep, for May. Uh, for May. Well, not so much May. We got a couple days of May still. <coughs> um, but for June, June, we don't have anything. Uh, summer. Going there. If you want to spend the summer with the EIK fellas, um, Jake, thank you for being on here today, man. Oh, uh, thank fuck boys. Yeah. <laughs> do you have anything to plug? I do not. Okay. Yeah. Lavender yeah. Epsom salts. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And two yeah, yeah, farts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. Teal's. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you get a hell of a deal. Head and shoulder. Those things you can yeah, get a pretty good shoulder. deal at, at uh, CVS. It's like you get, I got two for like $5, two like five pound bags. Well, because Dr. Teal's is looking out for you. They actually know <laughs> what's right about you. Uh, I really believe that. So thank you guys. <laughs> thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> Um, uh, if you want to get an Audible uh, subscription, go to audibletrial.com forward slash EIK. Another quick shout out to, uh, to Special K. Or sp- I can't call him Special the K. Silent K. <laughs> the Silent K. It's at, at the, is it at the Silent K? It's at the Silent K pod, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'll put it in the thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, uh, folks, if you're still listening, thank you for listening. Um, uh, yeah, hit us up on stuff and uh, be nice to each other. Everyone I know. <laughs> Toots and fucks. <laughs> <laughs>